It's worth noting that Tesla is the last car company still manufacturing cars in California. Uh, SpaceX is the large, the last aerospace company still doing significant uh, manufacturing in California. So there used to be over a dozen car plants in California, and California used to be the center of aerospace manufacturing. My companies are the last two left. I want to emphasize. So that's a very important point to make. Um, for myself, yes, I, I, I have moved to Texas. Elon Musk has a plan for Mars colonization. He initially thought that the hub of the aerospace industry, California, was the ideal launch pad for his dreams before realizing how bad the regulatory system was there. Texas then emerged as a beacon for this opportunity. Fewer regulations are an attractive feature here. But for an analytical person by nature like Elon, the benefits of Texas extend far beyond regulatory ease, all of which would never be available on the densely populated West Coast. Recognizing these advantages, Musk has capitalized on Texas in ways that the world has never seen before. Find out everything in today's episode. SpaceX used to have close contact with California, given that the company was first headquartered in a warehouse in El Segundo, California. Later in 2008, they moved to Hawthorne, California in 2008, where they designed and built its reusable rockets and spacecraft. In its nearly 20 years there, SpaceX has inherited and advanced the remaining legacy of the aerospace industry in California as SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk shared. Boeing and Lockheed moved their rocket production from California to Alabama. SpaceX took over an abandoned aerospace building in LA County and turned it into the highest volume rocket producer in the world. Its presence in this state is also manifested through building many infrastructures serving for developing the rocket system. Most notable is SpaceX's old Hawthorne headquarters, where thousands of employees already build Falcon 9 rockets and Dragon spacecraft. SpaceX's other major Southern California facility is at Vandenberg Air Force Base near Lompoc, where the company launches a handful of satellites each year for commercial and civil customers. These are just a few of a lot of heavy manufacturing planned for a region and state that are often derided for chasing away factories and large headquarters operations with high costs and regulations. Talking about the reason for the decision to maintain its operations in Southern California, Elon said, these were done in spite of, not because of, the California government it would be far lower cost to manufacture in other states, which is why our competitors moved out of state. That was because I lived in California. In fact, Southern California is home to a vast aerospace talent pool, which SpaceX leverages for its engineering needs. The majority of SpaceX's workforce, over 6,000 employees, is based locally, emphasizing the importance of access to skilled labor. This stems from the location's history as the center of many breakthroughs in the space industry, including the Apollo spacecraft, NASA's space shuttle, and the first GPS satellite. In addition, can't help but mention the state's number of tax breaks and incentives over the years, including more than $3.2 billion in direct and indirect California subsidies and favorable tweaks to market mechanisms since 2009. However, all of those advantages cannot overshadow its disadvantages. Musk has long complained about doing business in California, stating in 2022 that the Golden State was the land of taxes, overregulation, and litigation. Elon's disagreement with California politics, particularly Governor Gavin Newsom, has only grown over time. Elon also said he's had enough of dodging gangs of violent drug addicts just to get in and out of the building. The decision to move SpaceX's headquarters from California to Texas was made in July, following his strong opposition to a new California law that prohibits schools from notifying parents about their child's gender identity changes. Musk described this legislation as the final straw, claiming it attacks both families and companies. Texas then has emerged as a beacon of opportunity for SpaceX, particularly with its Boca Chica launch site. 
SpaceX established its first Texas facility in McGregor in 2003. This 4,000-acre rocket development site became essential for engine testing and systems validation. Every Merlin engine powering Falcon rockets undergoes rigorous testing here. In 2014, SpaceX chose Boca Chica Village near Brownsville for its new launch site. This location offered proximity to the equator and access to the Gulf of Mexico. Thus, Elon Musk can envision Boca Chica as a gateway to Mars missions. Construction began in 2015, transforming the area into a bustling spaceport. SpaceX invested heavily in infrastructure, building launch pads, fuel storage facilities, and tracking systems. Here, the company has conducted rapid test flights and iterated on its Starship technology with remarkable speed, something that would be nearly impossible in California's regulatory maze. Clearly, Starship's rapid progress has not been without the support of the Texas government. Back in 2011, in a glass-walled conference room at the California headquarters of Space Exploration Technologies, Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk told Texas officials he was interested in building the world's first commercial rocket launch pad in their state, if the state could compete. In the months after that meeting, state and local officials gave Musk, a billionaire, what he sought. About $20 million of financial incentives, laws changed to close a public beach during launches, and legal protection from noise complaints. Texas officials said they're necessary to lure jobs sought by many other states. And more importantly, they knew that Musk's SpaceX was wonderful for the economy here and their children's future. The deal was sweetened with $15.3 million in incentives from the state of Texas at that time. Everything became more remarkable when SpaceX applied for a license to put Starship into orbit. Throughout 2021, things were more headache. Politicians debated the benefits of the launch complex, lawyers dueled over regulations, and environmentalists raised concerns about how the giant rocket factory and growing launch site would impact wildlife. As not known for patience, Musk later warned that the FAA delays could lead to Starship's first orbital flight, happening outside Texas, specifically Kennedy Space Center. Under that situation, Texas Governor Abbott vowed to fight for SpaceX to launch from Boca Chica. What I am going to do if Biden interferes with the ability of SpaceX to launch from Boca Chica, I am going to be working every step of the way to make sure that they are going to be able to launch from Boca Chica. Talk the talk and walk the walk. Texas Governor Greg Abbott called on the state legislature to provide $350 million to create and fund a Texas Space Commission for the next two years. Of course, Abbott also isn't the only one pushing the FAA to approve quickly for SPACEX. Sergio Tito Lopez, chairman of the Brownsville Navigation District that runs the city's port, expressed his support that he had been in communications with the region's two congressmen about how to pressure the FAA to grant environmental approval for the Boca Chica site so SpaceX doesn't up and leave. This is totally in contrast to what California's officials have done to hinder the company's rocket launches in Vandenberg Space Force Base, especially after Elon Musk presented himself as one of the biggest supporters of Donald Trump's campaign in the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Obviously, there was more to this transition from California to Texas than just spiting his perceived enemies. While Texas is not the only state where politicians support SpaceX, it offers significant benefits that California simply cannot match. This place boasts vast open land that allows for large-scale operations and future growth. This availability of space is crucial for SpaceX as it continues to scale its production and testing capabilities, something that is increasingly difficult in the densely populated areas of California. With less traffic to contend with, employees can navigate their daily commutes more efficiently. This translates into increased productivity and a better work-life balance for SpaceX staff, enabling faster movement of personnel and resources. The lower cost of living in Texas due to lower taxes 
particularly regarding housing, makes it an attractive destination for young talent. Affordable homes can draw skilled workers who might otherwise be deterred by California's exorbitant real estate prices. The regulatory framework in Texas is generally less restrictive than in California, allowing SpaceX to operate with greater flexibility. This reduction in bureaucratic hurdles can accelerate development timelines and foster innovation. In short, political support, large areas of open land, easy access, lower operating costs, and fewer restrictions are factors that help Texas overtake California. Of course, it's no coincidence that the world's richest person enjoys enthusiastic support from the Texas government. As Brownsville Commissioner Rose Gowan aptly put it, SpaceX's presence represents a monumental leap forward for the community. Our children's future just took a huge step forward, and our community is well on its way to becoming a vibrant and thriving community. Several of Musk's companies in Texas, including SpaceX, Tesla, The Boring Company, X and Neuralink have directly created thousands of jobs in Texas. SpaceX alone has generated over 3,400 full-time positions at its Starbase facility in Boca Chica, while Tesla's Gigafactory Texas employs more than 22,000 workers, making it Austin's largest private employer. As usual, this influx of high-tech jobs and the favorable conditions here have attracted skilled workers from across the country. This new thing has stimulated local economies, particularly in areas like Austin and Brownsville. The economic activity generated by SpaceX and Tesla has stimulated local economies, leading to increased business for surrounding industries, including hospitality, retail, and services. Additionally, Musk's ventures have prompted significant investments in infrastructure and real estate. The establishment of Tesla's Gigafactory has led to increased demand for housing and commercial properties in the vicinity, driving up real estate prices and transforming the local market. Thanks to that, Musk's activities have positioned Texas as a burgeoning hub for technology and innovation. His decision to relocate key operations to the state has attracted other tech firms and startups enhancing Austin's reputation as a leading center for technological advancement and entrepreneurship. Beyond business, Musk is reportedly involved in community initiatives, including plans for educational institutions. His pre-kindergarten Montessori school, dubbed Ad Astra in Texas, paves the way for Elon Musk to start building out ambitious, STEM-focused education plans that could eventually entail multiple independent K-12 schools and even a college within the state. This independent school in Bastrop is Musk's second major attempt to push into education. An earlier Ad Astra school was conceived roughly a decade ago when Musk approached his son's then fourth grade teacher about starting a school for his own kids and those of SpaceX employees. An article in Business Insider last year also revealed Elon Musk's plan to launch his own university in Austin, Texas. This is being done through one of Musk's charities, named The Foundation, and he has donated about $100 million to create a school that will cater to elementary school through high school-age children. The program will be focused on teaching in STEM subjects and plans for an initial enrollment of about 50 students. With these developments, we have the right to hope for a vibrant and developing Texas in the future, as opposed to a city rife with crime and homelessness like California today. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.